The latest government figures show the recovery is slowing and the recession was worse than previously thought. Growth in the second quarter slipped to just 2.4%. You know, it's not strong enough. It's, you know, we certainly want it to be faster because, you know, the faster it is, the faster the unemployment rate comes down. 2.4% was less than expected, significantly lower than the 3.7% growth rate in the previous quarter. The GDP report does offer some encouraging signs. Business investment and equipment was the strongest in 13 years, and home builders spent the most in 27 years. Still, the latest revisions show the economy shrank 2.6% last year, the steepest drop since 1946. And for consumers, the news isn't encouraging. I think that the, the uh, uncertainty for the, uh, for the consumer, I think, is focused mainly on the employment market. Uh, you know, they, they're being told that there's a recovery, uh, but they continue to see the unemployment rate increase. Uh, and that's, that causes uncertainty for the, for the, for the, for the worker and, 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 and for, for, uh, for consumption going forward. I think that's going to probably be rectified, but it's not going to be rectified in the next couple months. It's going to be more towards the end of this year going into 2011. And bringing the unemployment rate down will be a very long process. It's estimated to take about 3% growth to create enough jobs to keep pace with the population's increase. Growth would have to equal 5% for a full year to drive the unemployment rate down by one percentage point. And neither the Obama administration nor the Federal Reserve expect that to happen anytime soon. Mark Hamrick, The Associated Press.